Hi guys, William Morris here, and today I just wanted to take a look at a new library called Evolution Atlantica. And this has been developed by a company called Keep Forest, who also made uh, Evolution Dragon, which was the first in this series. So the library seems to be aimed at trailer composers, as most of the categories are geared towards uh, trailer sound design or hybrid music production styles. So as you can see on the left hand side here, this is our patch list, just to give you an idea of the categories available. So we have everything from uh, low trailer brass, Inception style Brahms, uh, Doom guitars, epic trailer hits, whooshes, booms, short uh, short hits, some reverse sounds, rises, drops, have an alarms category, uh, sub hits, and transition shutters. There's also a few more patches contained within each of these separate folders here. So there's more uh, more guitar layers. There's an alarm section and uh, more whooshes as well at the bottom. Over on the right hand side here we have the main UI for the instruments. The UI does change slightly across the different patches but by and large it's very similar. So on the left we have our ADSR section and uh, on the right we have a legato and stereo section. We're on the main page at the moment but there's also two more pages. The second one is motion where we have our arpeggiator. There's also an effect section where you can have uh, filters, distortion, saturation, screamers, uh, delay, lo-fi, compression, EQ and reverb. And finally there is a modulation page where you can change the uh, LFO values and also the pan LFO values. There is also this big central control which depending on the patch you're in can control a number of parameters at once. Okay, so let's go back to the main page and then we can start having a listen to some of the patches. I'm just going to go through them in order and give you a kind of short selection from each one to give you an idea of what this library sounds like. So first up we have Trailer Low Brass. So next up we have some of the Inception style Brahm patches. Now the nice thing about a lot of the sound design elements is that you can retune them to fit with the, the key of your song. So you can see down here on the left hand side you can set the sort of key center as it were. I think this defaults to D. And then on the right hand side are all the actual different uh, Brahm sounds. So let's just have a listen to a few. Another cool little feature on these is actually the uh, sort of sample start timer that you can change here. So you can offset the start of the sample to kind of come in midway or, uh, you know, right at the start. Uh, there's also an option on a few of these sounds where they've recorded variations of a certain hit. So you can then kind of cycle through those as well using these next buttons and also this one randomizes the the sample that you can choose throughout. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to a few more of the Brahms in the second patch here. Cool stuff. Uh, okay, uh, so next up is the Double Doom guitar, which is a uh, kind of heavy processed guitar power chord kind of sound. And in this case, the central knob here is just used to control the, the vibrato. Okay, so on to some epic trailer hits. 
Now again, these are tonal, which again is really lovely to kind of fit them into an existing composition because even some sort of pre-recorded sounds can have a bit of a, a tone to them and make them feel sort of slightly off if your track is set in, in another key. So uh, let's just take a listen to some of these. Okay, so that's a selection of those. I mean, there is uh, several octaves of these, so obviously quite a lot of variation there. Let's take a listen to some of the whooshes. Okay, and now some low booms. And this would be a nice opportunity just to give you a chance to listen to the alternate samples as well. So as you can see in this particular key here, we have uh, four different samples available. So I'm just going to skip on to the next one. So there's very slight variations in some of these, and it's a bit more obvious on some of the, uh, the bigger hits and stuff like that. But it's just nice to have those little kind of uh, variations of, of sound. Okay, so moving on to the short punch hits. These are really sort of your really snappy, really percussive, kind of accenty sounds. And there's also a metal variation. Okay, let's take a listen to the reversed effects. Again, another tonal category, so you can uh, place them in the key of your choice. These have all had the start times modified on the sample here, so I guess it's quite nice for auditioning when you're going through to be able to not have to sit through the, the start of every sample. So I've pulled that back to the beginning. You can really hear the, uh, the full fade in there. So let's just have a listen to a few more. Okay, so next up we have the rises, which are again a reverse effects, but kind of a longer sort of tension building thing for a section. And once again, we have them available tonally. the uh, drops category. So 
So let's take a listen to some of the alarms. And now we have some sub hits. And transition shutters. So I'd say that's it for our sort of main sound design type categories. Uh, but now within the folders here, we have a few other options. There's another category of alarms, which is uh, classic alarms. Uh, under brass, there's a few different options here. So we've got the trailer low brass, which you heard before. There's the octave option. And um, we've also got this epic bends patch, which uh, sounds like this. Just sort of quite dark brooding uh, brass bends there. It's a growling brass patch. And a panoramaed bends, which is similar to the bends one got some further sort of stereo effects placed on it as well. So as you can hear there's some uh, automation with the panning there. Okay so let's take a look now at some more of the guitars. Uh, the Double Doom guitar I played you before, but let's take a listen to the bass guitar. So a nice sort of meaty electric bass guitar there. Have some uh, contrabass. Um, distorted bass. And distorted slap bass. So if we go back into the main category now, uh, we get to the tonal bank. The synth menu, which is marked as beta, just see if it actually loads in. Okay, so what I believe this allows you to do is to start to build your own uh, kind of stacked sounds within the same interface. So you can see we've got the basses category, leads, plucks, pads, drones, and lights up at the top. And these are all the different patches that would be inside. Uh, so you can kind of go through and start to layer up your own versions of a, of a patch. So say we wanted to, uh, from the base category to have this cat, uh, castle escape and universe patch in together. We would be able to do that. And I think you can have up to four slots going in the mixer at the same time. Uh, and with the presets, then you could start to kind of build your own patches that you keep coming back to as well. So let's now uh, take a listen to some of the synth bases. Let's just 
find another one at random. And we'll try one more. Okay, so let's take a listen to some of the drones. These will seem to be marked as uh, major, so I'm guessing they're kind of a, a major chord sort of sounding thing. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a listen to another one. Nice. Uh, so now we have the, the lead synths. Okay, so now we have the uh, pads. Okay. Uh, so, plucks category. Really kind of aggressive sort of stuff. Uh, I guess you could use these for like a sort of synth up kind of pattern thing as well. Uh, so let's try another one. That kind of thing maybe. Let's try one more from uh, this category and then we can move on. Uh, so the next character is called Tonal uh, One Note Lights. Which I'm not familiar with, but let's just uh, take a listen, see what we have.
So we have some more uh, transforming effects. Let's take a listen to transforming bass. Beeps. So if you were working on the next uh, Transformers movie, this category would definitely have you covered. So let's take a listen into the Wish category a bit more. I think we did listen to some of them, but uh, let's have a listen to maybe modern Wishes. And then some of the panoramaed whoosh hits. Okay, so our very last category up is the pulses. I'm just gonna load in the pulses menu here. And I believe you can then get a kind of breakdown of the pulse into its sort of stems, as it were, and you can select the different uh, pulses with these rhythms in the menu here. So let's just take a listen. Okay guys, so I think that wraps it up for the patches. Uh, this library's actually only been out for a couple of days, so I've only had a, a little bit of time with it myself. But I think even on a first uh, playthrough, there's definitely a lot of stuff in here that's gonna be useful for it, for trailer work and, and anything really with a hybrid sound design kind of feel to it. The main thing I've noticed is just that the patches all have a lot of kind of this uh, this low end weight to them. And this is something I know that trailer libraries are always looking for is, is that low end kind of weight that adds the, the punch and the kind of uh, heavy feel to these, these trailer tracks. There also seems to be a really good kind of variation of sounds. I mean, even from the, uh, the kind of basic uh, mainstay patches, which I guess are the sort of one through to 15 things here, there's this kind of decent variation, but then you can really sort of drill down into the extra categories and uh, there's even more kind of stuff available there as well so yeah i'm really uh, really pleased with this release so far and uh, i think it'll definitely make its way into some of my new cues i might be doing a, a follow-up video once i've got it kind of integrated into a, a track to really see how a lot of these sounds uh, layer with uh, an existing track and also how easy it is to kind of manipulate them really to kind of keep them not sounding as if they've just come straight from the library so yeah, that wraps it up from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. Uh, if there's any other libraries that you'd like me to get to, uh, just let me know in the comments.